Oh, real fast. Don't stop reeling. The drag set perfect. Got it. Just keep reeling. Statistically, you'll land them yeah. if you just keep reeling. Bring that one in. Burn it in straight down the pipe right here. There you go. And you're going to stay all the way in your corner till you get that bead to the rod tip. If you're up here, you'll have no control if he goes under the motor. But if you stay in the back, you'll have all the control to dip your rod. You know, I've caught a lot of fish in my life, and I've never been under so much pressure as I am right now. <laughs> There's nothing better than to catching a big old steely on a plug. I mean, this is the sailfish of the Great Lakes. I know, they are beautiful. They are a gorgeous fish. Perfect, buddy. Uh, get her away from the boat. She's all lethargic, ain't she? Well, nice fresh fish. Yes, sir! Well, hello, folks. <laughs> Welcome to Midwest Outdoors. I'm Jeff Quinn. I got my buddy, Dave Beebe, and uh, our guy, Jeremy Curtis, on the Silver Bullet. We're here on uh, the Great St. Joe River in Michigan. Well, it's almost Christmas time, folks, and uh, but the fishing is heating up great. There we go, baby. Start reeling, Jeff. Get your hand on the reel, baby. Shorty. There you go. That way, when he's tossing and turning, you're ready to take inch by inch. And statistically, if you're always reeling and that drags right, you're never going to create slack. Oh. Yeah, take, take that rod to him, Jeff. Quit pulling away. Real fast and go to him, baby. Real fast and go to don't him. Blow don't blow it. Don't blow it, Quinter. Don't blow it, Quinter. And don't pull when he pulls. Keep your hand on the reel. Stay there all the way till the bead. Stay there. Yep. Go back to the corner. There you go. He's not ready. <laughs> That's awesome, man. There's one of the best fighting fish. There we ready? come, baby. Pick up easy. Pick up easy. Fish on, baby. Good work. Oh, is she a beauty. What do you think it is, size-wise? Oh, a nice five-pound fish. Five-pounder. What we're doing is we're back trolling, and what that tactic is, you know, there's a few different ways people do it. So I do a little different technique, is I run a six-rod spread. And what we do is we have two rods down the middle, and those rods are back anywhere from 90 to 100 feet. And then our medium rods, just off to the inside those, those are out about 60, 70 feet. And then our shorty rods, they're out about 30, 40. But in theory, the fish are facing upstream and we're starting at the top of the run and we're taking our lures and working them back into their face. And this time of year, a lot of my fish, the water today, it's 37 degrees. More of them come sitting still with plugs versus moving especially early in the morning um, when the fish really aren't juiced up, they're kind of lethargic. We've had no rain this summer or fall, and it grew an algae on the bottom of our river, so I'm running a smaller profile bait, so I'm having to fish a lot slower with plugs, but at the same time, you're a lot more thorough, and you're covering water, and it seemed to be, as fishing's been tough, where we are producing more numbers fishing slower. No Pepe Le Pew, so hopefully we can keep it going. Doesn't get any better than this now, folks. Right here on the mighty St. Joe. It's got a little bit of weight to it now. This is what we what we can always look forward to. I mean, the battle is unbelievable. Right in your backyard. World-class steelhead fishing, pretty neat. It's, it's unbelievable. A lot of people don't know how great the fishery is right here. I mean, it's people go looking for this all over and it's right here, you know, I mean. There's, I love that right there, you hear that? Huh? Look at the coiner lean. I love that reel clicking like that. Oh, look at that. Is that a thing of beauty or what? Reel down one more time. Oh, you get him? <laughs> That's the one we needed. Wow. Woo! That right there. Yes, sir! That's a world class steelhead there. That is beautiful. Holy smokers. Oh. Woo! A beautiful. St. Joe River Steely. Well, I'll tell you what, these still had some of the best fighting fish. Silver fish. Getting close to Christmas, but the fishing's heating up. Right there. There he is. He came right back. Come on. Did you let it double bury? Oh, yeah. I'm going back, so you better reel like the sun. I see that. I'm going back, baby. OK. <laughs> oh. There he is, nice and easy. Got him hooked. Nice and easy. Oh, we're doubled up. Oh, yeah. I thought he was on this. Nope, that's a different fish. Yeah, I see that now. <laughs> nice. Double trouble. Yeah, babes. I got to land them, though, for this to count, right? Oh, yeah. I tell you, they are beautiful looking fish in that water column, Eddie. 
Oh, yeah, Beebs. I'll get mine in before yours. But a double, I got mine out first, though. There he is. Hey, okay. he swam right into the net. That's the way we do it. Go around the motor. It's going to come Oh, I think he's out he's now. Loose. We got him. We got him. I mean, there's always that chance you may get it hooked up into the uh, into a big log jam, and that's why we're using that 15-pound, 20-pound leader and 15-pound mainline. He's tall. He's just spinning. He's got it in the side of his face. There we go. We got him. Good work, gentlemen. Yep. And there's your limit. We're finishing up a great day here in the late fall right here on the St. Joe River right before uh, Christmas. It's been a world-class fishery. We want to thank Jeremy Curtis of Silver Bullet uh, Sport Fishing and along with my good buddy Dave Beebe of Dave Beebe Wildlife Taxidermy. Stay tuned for more Midwest Outdoors.